Jesus name we pray Almighty Father we give glory honor and adoration to you every time we come before you you give us the word of eternal life we appreciate Thank you for the perfecting work you are doing on your children. Thank you for what you will do today. The Lord be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome to the Bible study of today. We are considering the topic, lying not one to another. Lie not one to another. This is taken from Colossians chapter 3, verse 9. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, It means don't tell one another lies. In the church, among brethren, as a Christian, because you are born again now, you are a child of God now. You have put off the old man with his deeds. The former man, the corrupt man, the sinner man that was in you has been dismissed, has been chased out of your life. Therefore, don't tell lies. It means Something was in you before that made you a liar. You had a former lifestyle that made you a liar. Now, don't tell lies again. Since that former lifestyle has gone, now a new lifestyle has come. The lifestyle of Jesus. Yes, the Bible presents to us a God of truth without lie, without iniquity. The God we are serving does not lie. In Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 3 and verse 4, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 3 and 4, because I will publish the name of the Lord. Ascribe ye greatness unto our God. He is the rock. His work is perfect. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment. 
a God of truth and without iniquity. Just and right is he. The God we serve, a God of truth. He is just. He is right. In John chapter 4, John chapter 4, verse 23 and 24. The Bible tells us, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit, and in truth for the father seeketh such to worship him the people God wants to worship him are people that speak the truth that do the truth their ways are in truth God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Your words are true. You're not a liar. You cannot worship God in lies. You cannot worship God telling lies. You cannot. You are not worshipping God as a liar. See him. They that worship God must be born again. Worshipping him in the spirit. Then the words of their mouth, the acts of their life, all should be in truth. They should not be speaking lies. The spirit God gives is called the spirit of truth. In John chapter 14. John chapter 14, verse 16 and 17. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Another comforter, I have been comforting you. And you know me, I am the way and I am the truth. I dealt with you in truth. I taught you to speak the truth. To live in truth with your neighbor. Now, you are going to receive the spirit of truth. Verse 17. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because the world is a lie. The world is a society of lies. It, the world is a city of lies. The world is a family of lies. But this spirit, which you shall receive of God, he is the spirit of truth. Yes. The world does not know him. The world cannot receive him. The world does not know him. But you know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. You know him. All this while I have lived with you, the Spirit of God is among us. You never saw lies. My kingdom is not a kingdom of lies. 
God is not a man that he should lie. In Leviticus, I mean, in uh, Numbers chapter 23. Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie. He does not tell lies. Neither the son of Katid in First John chapter 1. First John chapter 1. I read verse 5. The Bible says, verse 5 and verse 6, This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness we lie and do not the truth it's not possible check out you who say i want to know am i qualified for heaven do you tell lies very simple check it out do you tell lies you want to say am i born again do you still tell lies? Don't go too far. Don't count the number of years you have spent in the church. You have spent in Christ, in court. Check up rather your attitude and character. Are you still telling lies? Lying with words? Lying with receipt, lying with action. Do you tell lies? Because in Revelation chapter 14, Revelation chapter 14, verse 4 and 5, these are they. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. Which for, I mean, these are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. Do you see God's people now? Do you see the people that are going to heaven? The people that are, going, are waiting for the rapture, within their mouth there is no lie. They examine their mouth, examine their teeth, examine everything in their mouth. There is no falsity. There is no falsehood. There is no lie coming to their mouth. There is no lie in their tongue. This follow the Lamb, both on earth and to heaven. So, this is what you need to know. God hates lies. He bound himself with truth as though a man. He promised solemnly he will never relate with you with, in lies. It is a solemn promise that God has made to you that he will never relate with you. He will never deal with you in lies as though a man. See, in Psalm 89 
verse 35. Psalm 89, verse 35. Once have I sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David. Can you see holiness connected to lying? That holiness is a life that does not tell lies. I've sworn by my holiness. Now, who is this man that says he's a holy man, but he's a liar? Is it you that say you are a holy man and you are a liar? Your records are lies just because of money. God said for his holiness, he will never tell lies. And you, for money, you will lie. Are you holy then? For some advantage of life, you will lie. For the safety of your life, in the circumstances of the world, in the world, you will lie. Are you holy? Without holiness, no man shall see the holy God. With lies in your life, you will not see the holy God. That's why God is telling us this. Very common among the sons of men. That's why the Bible says God is not a man that he shall lie. It's very common. Lie, the commonest sin among the sons of men. They tell lies like the fish that drinks water. They tell lies very easily to the point that even those who proclaimed faith in Jesus see lie not among the sins of the scriptures. They don't see lies as a sin. In fact, some people go to say life, lies is helpful. Sometimes God inspires you to tell lies because you need to deliver yourself or you need to deliver somebody else. Is it the holy God that swore that he will never lie? That will be inspiring you to lie? You lie and say it is wisdom. Is it the wisdom from the holy God who swore by himself that he will never lie to deliver you? He will never lie to, to do you any good. He will never lie to punish you. He will never lie to judge your enemies. He will never lie. His holiness will never be defiled by lies. How will you then defile your holiness with lies? This then is the message that we have of him. God is light. God is truth. Jesus is truth. The Holy Spirit is a spirit of truth. Does not inspire lies. The Father. He is the Father of truth. Please. Change your life. Change your life. Change your thoughts. Change your ways if truly you will be a Christian. Now, God commands the believers not to lie. It's a commandment. Having repented of your sins and turned to God for righteousness, the Lord commands you not to lie. Don't lie when you are given testimonies. Don't lie. Maybe you're giving testimony, people are happy, clapping their hands, and you are adding to it. You are exaggerating it. You have left God. God can no more be glorified by lies. 
A goat of truth can never test evil. No, you can't mix bitter and the sweet together. The sweetness will vanish from your mouth. You can't mix lies with righteousness. Righteousness will vanish from your life. If you want to glorify God in your life, you want to glorify God in your testimonies, it can never be by lies. Whatever clap you receive from me, whatever applause, whoever gets born again by that, whoever gets born again, by your lies. Yes, if you truly get saved, praise be to God. But you have deceived the world by lies. And that is not the property of God. So, he tells you, lie not one to another. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 22, to 25 Ephesians chapter 4 verse 22 to 25 that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts put off repent Remove that old character of lies. That old nature that lived by lies. The certificate is a lie. The employment is a lie. The marriage is a lie. Giving birth to children is in lies. The progress is in lies. Ministry is a lie. Everything. That's the old man. The former man. Your prosperity is lying prosperity. Your miracles that you do are lying wonders. Put off that former man. The record is a lie. Put off that former man that is corrupt with its deceitful love. And be renewed. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. It's your, the way you think that makes you lie. You think that you need more money and that lie will give it to you. You think that you must marry and that lie will give it to you. That's your thought. You think that it's only through lies you will get job in this world. You will make progress. That's your thought. Change it. Change that thought. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. In the way you think. Change that way you think. You think that it is when you tell lies that you can be accepted in human society. You can be accepted by the church. You can be accepted by the pastor. That is why you tell lies. Don't do that. It's God that gives you acceptance. And he is a God of truth. He does not use lies to justify you. He does not use lies to commend you. He does not need lies to favor you. He does not need lies to redeem you from complex problems. Be renewed. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. The way you think. You think that it is lying property that will give beauty to your life. That's your wrong thought and I can give you a husband. It is when you dress yourself with lies. Changing the truth of God into lies. Coming out of nature to unnatural dressing. Natural living that will give you a husband. Give you favor. Give you the change that thought. It is not. The creator of this world. None is greater than him. And he's a God of truth. 
right is his way just is his character and he uh, he does not use iniquity to make people like himself so he says and that ye put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness by my holiness I have sworn I will not lie unto David I will not deal with mankind with lies because of my holiness now you have come to take the nature of this holy God don't lie lie not one to another don't tell lies to your brother don't tell lies to your father don't tell lies to your wife don't tell lies to your children don't tell lies to your husband don't tell lies to your brethren in the church don't tell pastor lies let not the record you give as a fellow pastor bringing record to a senior pastor let them not be record of lies exaggerating the people the number of people that you have got don't do that this is a kingdom of righteousness god is righteous if any man say i serve the lord but walk in darkness he is a liar so he wants you but he says in verse 25 we are for putting away lying everybody say put away lying say it again now get put your heart your hand on their chest and begin to drag something out of it put away lying say do so again put your hand on your chest drag that thing out put away lying hold your mouth and twist it and say put away lying do it again do it again touch your tongue and say don't lie don't lie don't lie thank you the Lord is training you for heaven because this lying is degrading you before people in all years you have spent in Christ you are still lying your brethren are still finding you a liar you have no honor you are not an example you have lost your prestige honor is in righteousness the righteous is exalted righteousness exalted a man but how could you be telling lies you have no honor even before your children before your husband before your wife before the church before the society because they can't take you at face value that is the word of God coming unto you put away lying yes but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head even Christ put away lying speak every man truth with his neighbor speak to every every man the truth tell your wife the truth you are yet to marry her reveal your nakedness to her if she is from God it will not change her conviction and love for you 
The lawyer means to defend you. Tell him everything, including your fault. If he means to do that case for you, your fault will not keep him away from it. Why are you wasting time telling lies that they shall come and discover tomorrow and feel that other lies are still there? How do we help this man? Other lies are still there. He will embarrass me tomorrow. He will confuse me. They will discover him to my shame. But why don't you reveal your lies, your faults? Tell the truth to your employer. Do your restitution with, this, with the word of truth. Don't go and lie again. Adding sin to sin. If you will go to tell lies, then don't go for restitution. Why must you be coming every time? Yes, uh, manager, I'm coming to do my restitution. Uh, I want to say I stole 5,000 from you uh, when I was working here. When actually you took 50,000, you go back. Hey, I went and said 5,000. Which one is it? I'll go back and do restitution. Manager, <laughs> how long? How long? Go for truth. Everybody say, go for truth. Speak the truth. Take the courage. Do it. The truth shall make you free. God is standing by you. He's the God of truth. This world is formed by the power of truth. And that power is a living power. That power is the power of salvation. It backs up the man that will stand on truth. So, now that you have come to God, tell the truth. Do the truth in your work. Take only your salary. Don't add others to it by lies. The God of truth shall add to you. The God of truth shall feed you. The God of truth shall promote you. The God of truth shall give you better job. Because they that must serve him must serve him in spirit and in truth. Again, lie not. Yes. Be a faithful witness that will not lie. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 5. Proverbs 14 verse 5. A faithful witness will not lie. But a false witness will utter lies. Can you see? You are called for to give evidence concerning a case for the justification of a fellow or for his condemnation. If the person has committed evil, what is the will of God for him? Is it for him to be justified or to be condemned? Definitely a God of truth will condemn evil. If the person has done righteousness, has done the truth, has done good, what is the will of God? Is it that he should be condemned in his good or justified for his good? Definitely it is to be justified for his good. Then, if they call you over such a matter, be in the sight of God. Be a faithful witness. Don't mind the judgment that will come on that person. Say the truth and leave him to God. If he will turn to God and confess his sins, the Lord will handle him and show him mercy. For mercy and truth have met together. If he goes on the way of truth, mercy will overtake him. But if the person is, a, is just, say the truth 
For the Bible says, bury the truth and it shall rise after three days. Should truth not be justified? Should a man's land be snatched from him because he doesn't have money? Should a man be in prison because he doesn't have a helper? When he does, when his way is true, they call you to give evidence. Give faithful evidence. Even if all people team together to give a false evidence, you give faithful, true witness as Micaiah, all the 400 prophets of King Ahab gave him false witness. Oh, king, go for the war. You will win. God has given you victory. I saw the Lord God tell me this. The Lord, the Lord has given you witness. They, they teamed up together. You don't join them. And when the man that came picked Micaiah because of the world, the world has gone corrupt. They feel that truth should no more be. Truth has fallen on the street. Who speak the truth? Who speak the truth at this time? Ah, I don't want them to count me as one of these things. They call Micaiah. All the prophets have agreed in one thing. You go and speak the same. He said, as I live, what the Lord tells me is what I will give. Go and be on the side of the Lord to justify the righteous, to justify the poor in his righteous way. Don't go and be a false witness. That's what the word of God is saying. God's children don't lie. God's children don't tell lies. Look at it in Isaiah chapter 63. Isaiah chapter 63. I read verse 8. The Bible says, For he said, Surely they are, they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was their savior. Brother, don't lie. God will save you in that circumstance. Go for your restitution. The God of heaven, whom you are going to do truth for, shall be your savior. In that circumstance, on that gunpoint, don't lie. The God of miracle and power shall be your savior. See what he said. For he said, surely they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was their savior. God to be your savior. God to save you from sickness. God to save you from accident. God to save you from the plants of witches and wizards. God should save you from assassins. Children that will not lie. Don't lie to save somebody. Tell the truth. If that person is a child of God, it is the Lord that shall save him, not you. That is it. Yeah. Lie not against the don't see the truth like this and tell lies. Don't do it. Don't do it. In the book of James, chapter 3. James, chapter 3, verse 14. The Bible tells us, James 3, 14. But if ye have bitter envying, and strive in your hearts, glory not, and lie not against the truth. You are offended by your brother, and your brother came to you and said, eh, My sister, I feel as if I have offended you. The way I am seeing your attitude towards me, the way I see your face. I have a feeling that you have, I have offended you. No, my sister, ah, me, no. I, am I a Christian from today? I have been a Christian for long. So don't bother. You have bitterness in your heart. Why are you lying? 
Why are you lying? I'm boasting on righteousness. That glory is not good. Do you know that God has withdrawn from you? Because of the bitterness in your life. Are you going to settle that matter? Or you are telling lies? And no, my sister, don't bother. I am okay. Me as you see me now, I don't get offended easily. <laughs> you don't get offended easily. In the night, do you remember all the murmuring you murmured before the Lord on this sister? And the Lord, the spirit of grace touched him to touch her to come so that you get the matter settled. You're bursting of righteousness and dying in your heart. It's a sin to you. Be angry, but sin not. And let not the sun go down upon your wrath. You have not been able to control that matter. You have been burning. Burning in your heart. In that matter. You have been grieved. You don't even want to see her. Because of that issue. And the matter should not be solved. In fact, the Bible also told this person, if you have offended your brother, you remember it. You noticed it. Leave there your gift in the altar. Go and settle. And the person came by the scripture. You, anti-scriptural man, want to boast of righteousness in vanity? Lie not against the truth. This money is yours. Why are you saying it is somebody else? Somebody just came in <laughs> and saw money in your hand. Maybe it's even your wife. Walk in and money is in your hand. Says, you were counting money. Ah, she didn't even say anything. The spirit of lie would not be at peace. Uh, in our working place, there's money we contributed there and they gave me to carry home and keep it. Kai this human being and this brother this person is an elder in the church it's a leader why are you doing that why are you defiling yourself why don't you control yourself if god gave you that money in that spirit will he give you another a god of truth Six things does the Lord have. Yeah, seven is abominable unto him. A lying tongue. Then the Lord should be giving you more money. Why are you closing the door against your life? Why are you closing the door of mercy, the door of life, the door of progress against your life with a lying tongue? Does not God see? Does not God see? Lie not against the truth. Speak the truth in Christ and lie not. If truly you are a child of God, then speak the truth. Because we worship God in truth. If truly you are a child of God, that's why you need to really pray. And confirm this, your child of God, with the spirit of truth. In the book of First Timothy, chapter two. First Timothy, chapter two, verse seven. Whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle. I speak the truth in Christ and lie not. Pastor. By your level, you are to speak the truth in Christ and lie not. By your level, by your position, you should speak the truth in Christ and lie not. Coordinator, it took time for you to come to that position. And by that position, you should speak the truth in Christ and lie not. Women, mother, you came to be a mother and say you are in Christ and you have children with you, you should speak the truth in Christ 
and lie not. Let not your children discover lie in your life. You are a state coordinator, a national coordinator, a pastor of a higher rank, having other pastors under you. Paul said, I am an apostle, a teacher of the Gentiles. In that position, I should be telling lies. Apostle of lies. A teacher of lies. Coordinator of lies. Pastor of lies. Telling lies. Reporting lies. Dealing, solving people's problems with lies. Giving false testimonies. By that position, What an abuse to the gospel. What an abuse. What an abuse to the gospel of Christ for you to be a liar, a lying evangelist, hmm. a lying teacher. A lying pastor. A lying missionary. A lying chapter leader. Unit leader. Don't allow that. Kill it. Deal with that lie. Remove it. Plead with God against it. It's a shame. It's a shame. Do not lie before God. In the presence of God, you came to stand in the altar of God, holy altar, with lies, telling lying testimonies. In the presence of God, they called you to stand up in the church. The church of the living God. You lie. Say. Don't do that. Don't. In Galatians chapter 1. Verse 20. Galatians. Chapter 1. Verse 20. Now. The things which I write unto you, behold, before God I lie not. <laughs> Let not that those things containing contain revelations and visions you say the Lord gave you, but you are telling lies. He didn't give you revelation. He didn't give you vision. You just begin to couple many things. I went to heaven 50 times. In fact, this evening Jesus took me to hellfire. He said, because people are writing revelation, the, the Lord took me to hell. The, and the book is selling. He said, how do I get money now? I will write my own. And you begin to write lying books putting lying revelation and people are honoring you to your, to your death. They're honoring you to your death. Where are they? God will push you out. A lying tongue is but for a moment. So, the things are right. They are not lies. I write the truth, the experience of my life are truths. They are not lies. They are not lies. They are experiences of truth. He was narrating some things here. Look at it in verse. Uh, verse, 
15 down to the end. But when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the, gen the hidden, immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me, but I went into Arabia and returned again unto Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and abode with him 15 days, but other of the apostles, so I know, save James, the Lord's brother. Now, the things which I write unto you, behold, before God I lie not. Afterwards, I came into the regions of Syria and Cilicia and was unknown by faith unto the churches of Judea, which they were in Christ, but they had heard only that he which persecuted us in times past now preached the faith which once he destroyed, and they glorified God in me by a lie. Are they glorifying God in you by lies? Lying testimony, adding to it, exaggerating? Man in the flesh, be fear, beware of God that you're embarrassing. Why are you sharing God's glory with Satan? So, that is what he said. Say the truth and lie not. Even the state of your heart. Don't, don't tell lies. Romans chapter 9 verse 1. Romans 9 verse 1. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I'm not lying. Oh, what is it? He said, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren. My kinsmen according to the flesh. He is telling what is in his heart. You that tell a brother, Ah, I'm praying for you. Are you praying for that person truly? Pastor, we are praying for you. Is it a language you are using or an act of truth you exhibit? When you came, who asked you whether you were praying for the pastor or praying for that your brother or sister? What made you to open your mouth? Then why are you not doing it? Just lies. Be careful. We are talking about heaven. Yes. The remnant shall not lie. In the book of Zechariah chapter 3 verse 13. Zechariah chapter 3. Verse 13. Amen. Okay. Let's move to another scripture. Amen. In this end time, where the Lord is raising up a people unto himself. Preachers. Preachers. Yes. That will save the world from wickedness. From evil. Please don't be liars. The Lord is raising up people that will tell the truth and never lie. People that will tell the truth and never lie. That is the desire of God. That is the desire of God. Tell the truth. Don't tell lies. Tell the truth. And don't tell lies. 
We are bringing righteousness to the world. We are bringing salvation to the world. Why should we then tell lies? Why should you claiming to be a preacher of holiness among us and yet you are lying yes why you claim to be a preacher of righteousness and holiness and yet you are lying You are telling lies. Why should I be? Why should God find you with lies among his people? Why? Should God find you with lies among his people? Look at Zephaniah, not Zachariah, chapter 3, verse 13. Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 13. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies, Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. For they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. We are the remnant of the church. Majority have collapsed. Truth is falling on the street. Truth is falling on the street. Falling down in churches. They are no more acknowledging the God of truth. It's lies. They are living by. And you are part of us, a remnant. The remnant of the people shall do no iniquity and they shall not lie. Therefore, there should be no lying in holiness revival movement. Don't tell lies here. Ministers of the gospel, don't lie. Members of the movement, don't lie because you, you have given your life to Jesus. That is what God wants you to know. Liars. Satan is the father of liars because he's the father of lies. All lies issue from Satan. He is the one that lies and inspires sinners to live in lies, speak lies, act lies. John chapter 8 verse 44. John chapter 8 verse 44. The Bible says, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Who is the father of those that tell lies? Who is the father of those that tell lies? Who inspires them to tell lies? Even in the house of God, in the presence of God, who makes them to tell lies? The devil. Satan, do you remember the spirit that came before the Lord and said, I'm going to persuade Ahab. It's the devil. To go for the war. The Lord said, how will you do it? I am going to be the spirit of lie in all the mouth of, their prophet, of, their, of the prophets. Ah, if you will use lie, you will succeed. But is that success from God? You are succeeding with lies. Is that success from God? You are killing people with lies. 
Is that success from God? Ahab went to die because of lies. You're deceiving people, spoiling people, hitting people together with lies. Your father is the devil. But you're in the church. Was not that spirit in the presence of God talking? The spirit of lie being formed. The spirit of love. He threatens even believers to fall to him by telling lies. And that's what God is asking in the book of Isaiah chapter 57 verse 11. Isaiah 57 verse 11. The Lord is asking, And of whom hast thou been afraid of? Afraid or, or fear that thou hast lied and hast not remembered me. Now let it to, my, to thy heart. Have not I held my peace even of old and thou fearest me not? Who again has more power than myself that you went to be tell, that you became afraid to tell lies? Man of God, the Lord respects your righteousness. He gave it to you. Why, why should you go and tell lies? Daughter of the living God, why did you go and tell lies? Who again are you fearing in this life? God is with you. God called you. God sent you. God is standing by you. What, who, whom are you fearing? I feared Satan. He's a roaring lion. Seeking whom he would threaten to lie so that he can remove them from God. You have been removed. Reconcile back to your father. That lie, one time lie, has removed you. The Lord is patient and you have not done restitution for that lie. God is patient. And he has been patient of old. He said, my patience has been of old. I held my peace even of old. And thou fearest me not. You didn't do restitution on that line. Those receipts you changed. I'm just, I kept quiet. You are a pastor. You changed receipts. You changed record for money or for some other reason to promote yourself. I'm quiet. I have been quiet like that of old. But the day of judgment is coming. You won't escape. You will not escape. That is what the Lord is saying. So if you tell lies, go and remove yourself. You are of your father, the devil. Although you are still in the presence of God, as that spirit of love. Yes, God is quiet and allow you to be walking in his wisdom. But giving you a chance, will you confess that lie you told 20 years ago in the church of Christ? Will you confess and rectify that evil record that you made in the house of God 15 years ago? Or you are taking God's patience and quietness for granted? You are speaking in tongues. So, sinners do the following. In the spirit of life, they bend their tongue to lie. Look at it. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 3 to verse 5 the Bible says Jeremiah 9 verse 3 and they bend their tongues like their bow for lies but they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth for they proceed from evil to evil and they know not me fear the Lord the sinners. You know, lies is what they use to shoot at people. To lie on people. Just like you bend your bow to shoot the arrow. They bend their tongue to release the poison of lies. Over people's life. They don't know how to tell the truth. They don't know. They tell lies. They don't know God. They don't know Him. 
Take ye heed to every one of his neighbor, and trust ye not in any, bo any brother, for every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbor will walk with slanders, and they will deceive everyone his neighbor, and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies, and weary themselves to commit iniquity. Their dying habitation is in the midst of deceit. Through deceit, they refuse to know me, said the Lord. Can you see? Beca they grew up, the, the children of Israel, the backsliding was so high that the Lord is warning the few righteous, be careful what your neighbor is saying because there are, many of them are telling you lies. Be careful what that businessman has come to tell you. Many are telling lies. Be careful what that suto is coming to tell you about marriage. Many of them are liars. Check it well. Your brother would tell lies. Your sister would tell lies. Examine those things well. Otherwise, you will be doomed with lies. You will, you will be doomed. All these people who are looking for money. Hey, they say, bring 1,000 naira and we will give you this. We will give you loan. All lies. And you do all this, nothing comes out of it. Be careful. The society has collapsed. Truth is falling in the streets. Equity cannot enter. Check up well. That testimony that man is coming to give you, don't easily believe, all, believe it. Prove it. The Bible says prove all things before you accept them. Prove all things. Check it well. Otherwise, that man that came and said, my wife is in the teaching hospital. Is lying badly now. They want to operate her this night. And they say I should bring this amount of money. Unfortunately, thieves entered to my house and broke through. And the one millionaire I've been keeping there has gone. I have nothing. And this night, and the spirit of lie is touching your heart. Oh, sorry. Is that so? Hey, my brother. Truth is falling on the streets. Truth is falling on the street. Dying habitation is in the midst of deceit. True deceit, they refuse to know me, said the Lord. That is the word. Check on these liars. Check on them. That's what God is telling you. They have made lies their refuge. Their protection is, in, is, is lies. Look at it in the book of Jeremiah. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 28, verse 14 and 15. Isaiah 28, verse 14 and 15. Wherefore, hear the word of the Lord. Ye scornful men that rule this people which is in Jerusalem because ye have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell are we at agreement when the overflowing scourge shall pass through it shall not come unto us for we have made lies our refuge and under falsehood have we hit ourselves? That is it. They are there in the government, working in the government. They made, they submitted certificates that are not true. In fact, many of them went to construct promotion letter, sign and stamp, and put it in. It's working for them. They have made lies their refuge. They have made lies. He has used lies to get to you. He has said, Oh, sir, I am the son of your sister that got married in Ghana. All this while he has been looking for how to get at you. But we could not have accident. He sent me to come. 
you know, we don't have food to eat, we don't have... You say, I have a sister in Ghana, sister in Ghana. Ah, uncle, you don't remember again? Is manipulating you with lies. And before you know it, you who are simple-hearted, okay, stay, I have work to do. You will become the manager of mine. He has used lies to keep himself with you. You are not checking up. They use lies to be their protection. They use lies. The policeman is using his uniform to go into the villages, into the market in the villages, and is collecting money from people. But he has been, he has been a dismissed man. But you see uniform. There is lie inside. So that's what the word of God is telling us what sinners do. They boast in their lies. They boast in lies. Look at it in the book of Psalm. Psalm 12, verse 1 to 6. Psalm 12. Verse 1 to verse 6. See, that, see what they are saying. But see what the scripture says. Help, Lord, for the godly man Caesar, for the faithful fell from among the children of men. They speak vanity, everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips, with a double heart, do they speak. Help! Righteousness is perishing in the church. Righteousness is dying. Godly people, you scarcely see them. The godliness is fading away. Their lips now are lips of lies. You cannot find a faithful person that can do business for you. He will convert your money to himself with lies. You cannot find people that will speak the truth. There's no godliness is dying. Spirit of lie. Spirit of lie. Spirit of lie has taken over the church. They flatter with their mouth. They speak greatly. Wonderful what God is doing through them. What God is revealing to them. What God has used them to achieve is flatter. It's flatter. Lies. Verse 4. Who have said, I mean verse 3, the Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things who have said with our own tongue we will we will prevail our lips are our own who is lord over us for the oppression of the poor for the sighing of the needy now will i arise say the lord i will set him in safety from him that puffeth up puffeth at him the words of the lord are pure words as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. See, but these liars come up. They by lies they oppress their neighbor. By lies they rob the poor. By lies they accumulate for themselves. The Lord said, I will arise and deal with them. You are speaking lies here. He will arise and deal with you. That is it. Why should those we trust to be true children of God be liars? We trust. We lay hand upon this. Verify him. He's given a lying testimony, a lying record, a lying report. Then what do we do? Where do we go? Help! Go! Godly man is disappearing from the church, from among your people. They change the truth into a lie. In Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Romans chapter 1, verse 25. The Bible says, let me read verse 24 and 25. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness, through the loss of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of 
God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed, blessed forevermore. And let everybody say, Amen. The truth, the real natural hair that God gave them, they changed it into a lie. The natural skin God gave them, they changed it into a lie. Natural fingernails, they changed it into a lie. Their eyes, their nose, their mouth, their lips, their foot, their all, the lies. Lies. Man, this is who he is. Yes, he boasts of it. The lie to God. Hmm. Even look at it in the book of Acts of Apostles. Acts chapter 5, I read verse 4. They tell lies to God. In chapter 5, verse 4, whilst it remained. Was it not thine own? And after it was so, was it not in thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. Man can lie unto God. The Lord told Sarah, why, the Lord was telling Abraham, why did Sarah laugh? Eh, I didn't laugh. Eh, you laugh. Is, is it man and God? They can tell lies right in the presence of God. Repent as Sarah did. That the blessings of God might come upon your life. They tell lies. Jesus is the one asking you. Look at The Lord asked Cain. Where is Abel your brother? I don't know. Am I the, my brother's keeper? You see human beings so tough by demon. So tough. Lying to God. All these things that say, hey, swear by the Bible. They will raise the Bible. You think that, they will say, I fear this Bible. It's a lie. I fear this Bible. It is the word of God. I cannot hold the Bible and tell lies. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It's a lie. He did it. That's man. Why has lies so empowered you? You are going to break forth from the spirit of lies. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Using lies in ministry. There are many that use lies in Christian ministry as shown by the scripture. In Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 14. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 14 and verse 32. The Bible says, I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem and horrible thing they commit adultery and walk in lies they strengthen also the hands of evil doers that none doth return from his wickedness they are all of them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah that is what the Lord is saying the prophets they are preachers they walk in lies before they come to this place for crusade, they have gone ahead and arranged people that shall answer for miracles. People that they're going, they're coming with wheelchairs. They will sit on wheelchairs. People that would, would, would tie many things on their stomach to show that they had their stomach swallowed up. They, they have done many things. There are people, they have covered with a, with a kind of something they will rub around their eyes to show that they were blind they will bring them and come here and say Jesus is doing miracles God is going to do miracles yes the Lord sympathizes with people there are people the Lord will raise up them they cripple the Lord will cause the blind to see and they will begin to demonstrate yeah somebody has risen up oh somebody has risen up it's a lie lying wonders I'm telling you they walk in lies these pastors these preachers God is not in them. They don't have righteousness. They, they are not glorifying God. Emphasis is not in salvation. It's a miracle. Liars! That's what my people do. To cause people to turn away from God. Yes. They prophesy lies. Look at it in verse 32. 
verse 32 behold i am against them that prophesy false dreams saith the lord and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies and by their lightness yet i send them not nor commanded them therefore they shall not profit these people at all said the lord nobody is born again under their ministry it's lies they pump pride into those people the lord told me the lord shot me and it's human sacrifice they're doing there that's what they're doing in the church today walking with lies carrying substances of lies and you think that the miracle is coming from those substances from those handkerchiefs from those aprons from those sun, from those things, the miracles, the miracles, wonders, magic is coming from Satan. They are lying objects. Your eyes are on the on the objects. They are not there. They come from Satan. You are not seeing the demons. You are not seeing the demons. They are spiritual thing. But if you collect them, that's, if you collect those substances, you have contact with the demons. That's what they are doing. They prophesy lies in the name of the Lord. Verse 2, I, Jeremiah 27, I read verse 4 and 5. Jeremiah 27, the Bible says, you know, verse 4 and verse 5. And command them to say unto their masters, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Thus shall ye say unto your masters. Isaiah, Jeremiah chapter 27. Jeremiah chapter 14. Let's read Jeremiah. Let's leave that 27. Let's go to 14. Verse 14. Jeremiah 14. Verse 14. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies. In my name I send them not. Neither have I commanded them. Neither speak unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their own heart that's what they're doing but take note take note let God be your witness that you don't lie in your ministry let God be your witness that you don't tell lies in your service for God in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 30 to 33 2nd Corinthians chapter 11 verse 30 to 33 the Bible tells us here saying if I must needs glory I will glory of the things which concern my infirmities the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ which is blessed forevermore, knoweth that I lie not. In Damascus, the governor under Aretas, the king, kept the city of the Damascenes with a garrison, desirous to apprehend me. And through a window in the basket was I let down by the wall and escaped his hands. This thing I am saying about myself is not a lie. God is witness that I lie not. Please, in your ministry, in your testimony, deal with truth and let God be your witness that what you are saying is not a lie. Speak the truth in Christ and lie not. Don't use lie in conveying the gospel. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 21, 1 John chapter 2 verse 21 the bible says i have i have not written unto you because ye know not the truth but because ye know it and that no lie is of the truth you know the truth and you know that no lie is of the truth don't use lie in the gospel we have taught you the truth don't go and be adding lies to it because you say i want to win somebody i will i'm going to give him an illustration and i will tell him this thing happened 
and it is it happened to this person or happened here i was there and it is not true don't use lies in the gospel of christ be informed go to god in prayer that he will remove lies from you from your family from the church yes plead with him let god remove lies look at it in the book of proverbs chapter 30 verse 8 proverbs chapter 30 verse 8 the bible says remove far from me vanity and lies remove far from me vanity and lies even in poverty remove it in danger remove that i will not tell lies stand to it in your life remove plead with god i am always afraid and lies come out reject fear pray for boldness stand for courage plead with god your tongue shall not lie and purpose that my lips shall not transgress once have i sworn to david that in my holiness that i shall not lie to david stand promise god you will never lie your tongue shall not speak lies your hand shall not feel report of lies you shall not sign to our proof lies to sponsor lies yes isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 to verse 8 isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 to verse 8 in the year that king Uzziah died i saw also the lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up and his train filled the temple above it stood the seraphims each one had six wings with twine he did he covered his face and with twine he covered his uh, his feet and with twine he did fly one cried unto another and said holy 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 is the lord of hosts the whole earth is full of his glory where everybody verse 3 read it read it read it one two go shout it Say it again, verse 3. One, two, go. Holy, holy, holy. And the posts of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said, Ah, woe is me, for I am a liar, for I am undone. Because I am a man of unclean lips, I tell lies. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. I dwell among liars. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts, in the holiness of God. O Lord, cleanse me. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongues from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, No! These have touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin passed. I pray that the tongues of fire shall come down from heaven upon your lips, upon your mouth today, and descend to your heart, and point out lies from your life. The Lord will wipe out lies. The power of the blood of Jesus will descend upon you, and begin to press out all those dirty things, dirty spirit out of you, that all the corruption defilement that is depriving God of his glory in your life you will be wiped out in Jesus name and you should know that your lie shall discover you and the psalmist the man of God said something about liars in the book of Psalm 101 verse 7 101 Psalm 101 verse 7. He said, He that walketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. If you don't get those things off, the Bible said, Know that your, your sin shall find you out. Your lies shall be discovered. The Lord shall discover your lies. You shall be removed. 
your future is not good you shall lose privileges in the future because of your life you cannot continue with holiness revival movement as when you are discovered a liar and beside what said the scripture the bible tells us in the book of revelation chapter 21 verse 8 revelation chapter 21 verse 8 it tells the bible says there that but the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars liars in the church liars in the pulpit liars in the cathedral liars in the in in the personage pastor's house liars in the market liars in the government office liars in 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 companies and industries liars all kind small 0.1 percent lies 1 percent lies 10 percent lies 20 percent lies 50 percent lies 89 percent lies 100 percent lies all liars they shall move when they start moving wherever you are a an invisible hand shall reach you they are moving you to hell they shall be cast into hell into hell all liars they shall move you and cast you into hell which burn the lake of fire into the lake which which burn it with fire and brimstone which is the second dead come out of the kingdom of liars remove yourself from satan remove yourself from him plead with god let him cleanse you stand up now and start doing it let god cleanse you from lies lying record lying registration lying friend lying wife lying enemy lying everything let god set you free oh call on god Jesus, touch your people from lies. Get them cleansed from lies. For God seeketh true worshippers to worship Him. Clean worshippers. They that follow God in their mouth, there's no guile. Thank you, Father. Tell, telling lies to your husband. How can that marriage be a good marriage? How will you enjoy a husband in lies? Telling lies to your wife. How can you find heaven on earth in that marriage? When you, you show that you're not a, a clean man. Your lips are not clean. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Cause this message to be played in your house regularly to wipe out all lying spirit in your house. Let it be going on there constantly to wipe out all lying spirit from man, from woman, from children, from anyone that stays in that house. Lies. Hey, speak every man truth with his neighbor. Thank you, Lord. Worship. The presence of God is upon us. The presence of God is upon us. The Lord is here with you. Here with us. Jesus. Thank you. I worship. Make us clean. Holiness revival movement. A remnant of the last days. A remnant of this last generation. Woo! That we may preach righteousness and holiness in the spirit of truth and faithfulness. Jesus' name. Thank you.
purge yourself from love plead for the blood of jesus call on the holy spirit let him come and burn out lies from you set it on fire burn them out set your heart on fire Push out those things remove them uproot them don't live by lies don't make progress by lies they are temporary progress for a lying tongue is for a moment your sin will find you out thank you it is done the message you have just listened to is a production of holiness revival movement worldwide Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, Contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus I believe Savior. Jesus, I, I believe. believe.